This video is going to go over how to draw practice assignment one. So it's shown here, basically first half is going to be a one inch by two inch rectangle with some crossing lines. So let's do that one first. So I can either start with the rectangle command or the line command. So I'll do with the line command this time. And I'll draw here, go two, go up one, back two, and close it. Usually when I have a closed shape, I like to use the close option just because it's real helpful. Now I'm going to draw a line from here to here, enter to get out of it, enter to get back in, there to there. Now I'm going to start another one from here over, and then I'll just use my tracking and come down back. Let's take a look at that. So that's my first one. Now I just need two more lines there. So I'm just going to go line, maybe just bring my tracking over, down, and down. So that is one way to do it. I could also do it with a rectangle, 2 comma 1, and use more of just my basic O snaps. Go from there straight out go from there straight down and now connect it then go from here over and here down <clears throat> pressing enter to get out of it enter to get back into it quite a bit to get that same shape so that looks pretty good so now I'm going to move on to the second part I'm just going to pan this up a little bit <clears throat> now the second drawing it's two circles that are two inches apart, one with a diameter of half an inch and one with a diameter of one inch. So a couple of ways to do it. First way, I'm just going to draw a line that's two inches between it. I can draw a circle with a diameter of one and a circle with a diameter of 0.5. And then I can just erase that line. Now what do I need to do? I need to draw a line from tangent here, tangent there, tangent there, tangent there, the quadrant here, straight out till it intersects it, and back up tangent. So I'll do these two tangent lines first. So line, shift, right click, tangent. It doesn't matter really where I click on the circle, because once I get it, it's going to kind of follow me. Now shift, right click, tangent again over here. Enter to get out, enter to get back in, shift right click, tangent again, again doesn't matter where, shift right click, tangent, to the top of this circle. I can draw a line and I'm just going to go from that quadrant so I'm going to shift right click, quadrant from there, straight over Shift right click, tangent again, and back up. So then now I have that shape. <clears throat> Another way I could do it is just to draw and use a lot of my tracking. So I'm going to pick this circle first, diameter of 0.5, and then circle diameter. And I'm just going to go over the circle, turn on my tracking, and track over 2 inches the diameter of one inch. So just using that tracking, now I don't have to erase that line. And since I know I'm going to use tangent a lot, I'm going to go down here and right click on my object snaps and turn tangent on. I'll just turn it back off when I'm done. I can just line. Well, let's see, now that, that circle, that center is overriding it, so I'm going to turn off the center. So that way I can get to the tangent. So tangent, 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 tangent. Now I'll just turn center back on. I can just draw a line. Now I'm just going to track over to the quadrant, track over to here, and back up tangent. So that's another way I could do it. And
and it looks the same, so that's good.